Hello and welcome back to Frogboy X1 Gaming. I'm Andrew and today we're talking about the AMD 7600 XT. Now I've had um, about five hours now to play around with. Well, well, actually it's more like four hours because I was on that show till about five or something, almost six. So yeah, so about three hours. I've been testing a bunch of games. I've uh, been going through them. I've put some videos out. I've got a bunch of recordings and stuff. I'll, I'll get you a whole bunch more videos tomorrow and throughout the weekend. Uh, just tonight, it's already almost 10 o'clock. I don't have time to like edit in a bunch of video gameplay into this video, but I want to give you my initial impressions of the 7600 XT for what I've tested so far. Uh, a lot of open world games, some racing games, uh, pretty much everything. I've tested all, all different uh, 1080p, 1440p, as well as 4K. And the overall consensus that I'm feeling about this card is yes, this card can push 4K on certain titles it does um playing around with the settings a little bit you can easily get 60 frames a second on a lot of those titles as well which i was which i was like wow this is this is crazy i was just in i was just in um uh the witcher the witcher 3 and i was playing around with that and i've actually got that one like 4k running at about running about 50 frames a second yes we are using fsr yes we're using fluid motion frames we're using all of the tech in this card to really see just what this thing is all about and to to tell you the truth i got to be honest with you when when i bought this 7600 xt i kind of figured i was going to like this card like I, I i just i just had this feeling that it was going to be pretty decent and my findings so so these are my findings um I, and and you can you can go look at everybody else's reviews because it just sounds like they all want to be a bunch of negative nancy's about about this card um my experience at like 1080p and and this is this is this is crazy and it's pretty consistent and i'm gonna do some videos and i'm gonna show you but i feel like this card is is designed you know obviously is a 1080p card so here's the thing when i'm playing a game at 1080p with max settings I feel like I'm getting the same, about the same frame rate. I, I Like I said, I'm going to go back and I'm going to check this. And I'm going to make some side-by-sides of all three of these cards. So I feel like at 1440p on the 7800 XT, I'm getting about the same frame rate as I'm getting on the 7600 XT at 1080p. And then on the 7900 XT, I feel like I'm getting the same frame rate at 4K that I would be getting on the 7800 XT at 1440p. So in my mind, these cards are proportional uh proportionate to the the scaling for what these for what these gpus are doing um yes i can easily push into 1440p with this card um that's not giving me any problems at all most of the games um it, it's almost like using the 7800 xt to play 4k um you, you're going to be using a combination of fsr you're going to be using you know all, all of the different tools you're going to be utilizing those to be able to play this this card at 1440p on 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 a lot of games i mean i've got an alan wake 2 video going up right now you're gonna see like you're gonna see like this card it, it's gonna it's gonna blow your freaking mind seriously like this this is like wow dude i can't believe this card is this good right now out of the box that only gives this card time to grow and mature and and become better over time like i do kind of feel like there is a place for this card but i'm going to be completely honest with you um right now you can get the 6700 xt for the exact same price pretty much so i mean if they're still on the shelf that that to me um would kind of be like a, a I don't know, man. I don't know if I would say it would be a no-brainer, but yeah, you're going to get definitely more power out of a 6700 XT for the same price. So that's something to consider. But overall, the overall experience that I'm feeling with the 7600 XT on my first day, I'm not disappointed at all. Like everything I'm trying to do with it and I want to see with it, like I'm, I'm able to do that. I'm getting 60 frames a second plus at, on, at 1440p on on forza motorsport i'm getting uh high high frame rates on automobilista 2 um i was just playing around with that at 4k at 4k max settings on automobilista 2 i am at like 55 to 60 frames a second with am with amd's fluid motion frames enabled i'm over 100 frames a second while playing that game 
Now, now let that sink in for a minute because AMD's fluid motion frames is very good with racing games. It makes the image a lot clearer. The overall frame gen lag that I'm getting on that game is actually pretty impressive for 4K at max settings on Automobilista 2. And it, and it looks incredible. So when I, when I, when I look at this card and, and, and I think about it, I mean, I'm actually not even getting really that bottlenecked with the 5900X. I'm, I, I mean, I am on a few titles, but not, not nowhere as bad. I mean, I'm getting a locked 1440p 60 frames a second on Tekken 8 while in there fighting like it's locked 60 frames per second i mean the whole game is locked but i'm getting 60 frames a second so i'm, I'm obviously it's doing incredible on like these newer on these newer games tomorrow i'm going to be doing some robocop i'm going to be doing some avatar i'm going to be doing all these other games and testing those but i just kind of ran out of time tonight so overall my first impressions of this card for the first day is wow wow this is pretty cool like it's pretty good i've still got a, a ton more games to to do i, I and, and we'll i'm gonna try to get you guys the most comprehensive breakdown that i can on this card like these first initial five videos that i put out tonight of the games i want to i want to get your feedback on some of those first so that i can know what what you guys want to see in them if you want me to like do like a dedicated 1080p a dedicated you know uh 1440p or just or just go through and like find my settings that i would feel comfortable playing the game and then bring that to you so i want to hear some feedback on that um as well as every single 7600 xt video will be in its own playlist so if you guys want to watch all of this it'll be very easy to find you'll be able to get in there all of the games will be, every single game is going to get its very own video i'm not going to do like a multi-video like a whole bunch of other people i'm going to do individual videos for this game uh, for this card and tomorrow when I have more time and I don't got to go to bed for work I will elaborate a little more I just wanted to get some stuff out there because I'm already a day behind and I wanted you guys to see this card and see exactly what it is and see if it's right for you like I, I want to do this I want to play with this card um, a lot more and yeah so overall it's it's nice as you can see it does not have any RGB sad face like i am a little bit sad about that <laughs> the overall aesthetic of the card though absolutely incredible this card is freaking beautiful it looks good it it, it sits in there very freaking quiet whisper quiet there's no coil wine there's no like the fans aren't annoying um and it feels pretty stable i mean if i get in here and let, let me bring this up and we look at the um, uh, um let's let's look at the uh, let me do this uh, screen capture thing for you guys let me pull up uh, oh wait, is it this one? I think it might be this one. No, because that's the wrong one, buddy. Let me just uh, bring up this this one right here. So this is the thing. Let me go ahead and full screen that so you guys can see. Um, I was just playing The Witcher 3. Um, if we go over here to performance, uh, we get your readings right here. We're looking at GPU, AMD Radeon RX 7600. We're at utilization 47% right now. Clock speed's 1121. Board power, GPU temperature, hotspot. Like we're we're really good even while we're gaming. Like this is this is like within like 10 or something like that. Uh, voltage right here with with three screens on. Um, we're at what 729. So pretty decent. I, I think I'm I don't have a problem with it. I'm thinking it's pretty freaking solid, my friends. Um and then yeah, like with, with everything turned on, I mean I'm I'm pretty satisfied with the overall experience of, of the seventy six hundred XT so far. I feel like this card is I feel like this card is designed for longevity. I kind of wish it did have a little bit higher bus rate, you know, but but then again, if it had a higher bus rate, then then like why would they even you know what I mean? Like this is a 1080p card. That's what it's designed for for high refresh rate, uh high refresh gaming. I'm gonna do some Call of Duty, some low settings, a whole bunch of stuff. Like I got a whole bunch of stuff planned, so all right, my friends, if you guys like this content, don't forget to like and subscribe. And uh, we'll talk to you guys in the next one. See you later.